should you get hydrogen tablets or should you get a hydrogen water bottle? That's what we're going to talk about today. Both have, have many benefits of them. You can get the benefits of hydrogen in tablet form or in just from a water bottle. But in, there are more, there are a higher quality tablets out there that there, there's just more options for them. And then you have the hydrogen water bottles. There's only three that I can actually stand behind where, they, where they're actually good quality ones. The best one that I found is the Echo Go Plus. You try that if you want to buy it. You can use discount code Sync Therapy. That will get you, I think, 10% off. But let, let's talk about which one would be a better circumstance for you because there are some pros and cons to each. I've used both. I love both. I love both of them. I usually, I just use this one. It's much easier to use, but I started with the actual tablets of it. So we can talk about just kind of a brief overview of, of why we would actually use hydrogen water or hydrogen enriched water essentially what is what it is so the main two things that the, most of the research says is it talks about it's a, a selective antioxidant and it helps with inflammation those are, are the two biggest drivers for essentially disease in kind of society right now the cool thing is that, that it'll actually use more of a, a selective antioxidant so unlike vitamin c where you can take too much of it and it becomes an oxidant more of a problem inside the body the 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 actual hydrogen portions of it are just essentially choose the bad ones the hydroxy radicals and then there's another one as well but the kind of the one of the benefits that i like usually with myself and with my clients is, is it just changes how your body feels inside of there so when I first started with the tablets, the, I was having some neck pain that went essentially away in about three days. And I've been having that for about two weeks. I mean, I didn't do anything for it, but I also, the only thing I actually did for it that was a byproduct was taking hydrogen itself, which was super cool. So basically I had issues turning my neck towards the left. And every time I turned my head towards the left, I got that sharp, sharp pain inside of there. So obviously I tried to limit it, managed it for what I was doing, but that went down by... 80, 90% in about a day, and it was pretty much gone by, by about the end of day three. Other things that I've noticed with kind of the combination of both, and you could probably get it with just one of them, but my feet feel so much better, my calves feel so much better, less hip tension, less hip tightness. I think most of that stuff is coming from uh, the digestive system, so that's where you're probably gonna get a lot of the benefits from that. From the hydrogen, it is working along those systems and the stomach system. Usually we get a lot of referral pain, from the digestive system that most people just equate it to usually sitting at the desk and just it's very hard to put two and two together but essentially with what I do in my work is, is I release tension around the organs and I get some fantastic benefits of that and most people don't realize that is probably where most of the pain and tension in their body is coming from is through there but hydrogen also helps out with like joint pain so it could be rheumatoid it could be osteo just kind of the general wear and tear that seems to be quite beneficial for it i've noticed it in my joint mostly around my neck so i'm tall i'm, I'm six four I, I slouch a little bit i find it a lot easier now to kind of sit up when i when i have to i don't have to think about it i, I just feel like i have better posture where I can put my neck all the way up. I've also noticed a reduction in, in my IBS symptoms. I was having a lot of issues with eating onions into there, but probably that, that took probably about three to four weeks where I started like, wow, this is, this is pretty good. I'm not really having the reaction like I used to before where it was a lot of pain and bloating kind of right underneath of the rib cage after eating onions are quite healthy for you, but if your body can't digest them and they're, it's irritant, it's, it's not, you're not getting that actual benefit from it. But let's talk about the, the benefits of the hydrogen water bottle. So like I was saying, there's only three hydrogen water bottles that are that are actually probably high quality. All Most of the other ones are kind of shit or, or very iffy. I wouldn't really get anything on Amazon, definitely not anything on Timu. The whole point, so since with hydrogen being more new to the scene, you're gonna to wanna to choose a high quality one and you're gonna to wanna to choose a high quality water bottle that is essentially third party tested. You need to know that what it actually says it's making is what it's actually coming out as. So the benefits of the hydrogen water bottle, very easy to use. All you have to do is you just have to press the button either once or twice, depending on what it is. But most of the buttons, most sorry, most of the hydrogen water bottles will have two settings. One just for a low quick setting, the other one's more of a, a higher therapeutic dose. Usually it's just in five minutes or 10 minute interval. All you gotta do is you just press the button twice and then it pops up. So this battery is low since I've actually been using it. You can see I've dropped it a few times. Usually it's a blue light. This one just, it's, char it's just essentially dead. It just needs to be charged. This is cost effective long-term. The, you can get the hydrogen to actually last. So like one of the benefits of it, since hydrogen is so small, is, is it dissipates and it dissipates fast. So with something like the Echo Go Plus, 
you can get the hydrogen, so you can actually just kind of tap it. And I think the half-life lasts anywhere between three to six hours, depending on a few things of how you put the actual water into it. But some of the other benefits of, say, the hydrogen tablets of why you would use it, you do get a higher dose with this. So the hydrogen tablets, I think, can go up to about 8 ppm per serving, both well above the therapeutic dose. So this hydrogen tablet is just from Body Health. It's the first one I use. Body Health usually has high quality actual products. The EchoGo Plus that goes anywhere from two and a half parts per million to four and a half parts per million. Like I said, this goes to eight. I've seen up to 12. Don't know how, if that is actually what is being produced when it is all said and done. The So, so this is, the tablets are much easier from like, if you just want to test out the benefits of hydrogen. So usually within, if you're just trying it out for one to two months to see if you can actually get benefits of it. I, I find that these work just a little bit faster on actual seeing results. There are some cons to it. There is a little bit of a smell to it. Usually I can get past it. It's not that bad. There's there's no issues. A lot of reports that I've been seeing on like different reviews are like, hey, this tastes terrible. It kind of smells like tools, usually what it is, but it essentially is a, a metallic taste. It's not, not the best. You can definitely notice it. It's there. I think most of it's mostly just on the smell as you're inhaling, as you're about to drink. You do get a little bit of a, a weird film if you don't immediately wash the actual cup of it and it's a little bit hard and it doesn't fully come off in the actual dishwasher if you don't wash that off or if you don't actually scrub it which is quite annoying because you'll put it into there into the dishwasher you pull it out and be like i have to fucking rerun this again so these these are harder to actually use it's not just to put it in set it and forget it you have probably between one to three minutes depending on the temperature of the water so i'll have another video of actually how to use the hydrogen tablets but all you have to do is you just get essentially just a, a cup of water and you just put one of these tablets actually into there and it creates a chemical reaction. From what my understanding is, is it kind of liberates part of the actual hydrogen from the oxygen to create that gas inside of there. Gets a little bit of a, a, a gas-like kind of foam. And then that's essentially when you got to drink. You do have to drink it quite fast because, you, like I said, you got essentially a few minutes to that. If you don't do that within a few minutes or if you put it into the tablet, go to the bathroom, you come back later and, and the tablet's dissolved. There's probably no hydrogen into there, so you're not really getting a whole lot of benefit of it. They are rather expensive long term. So this was probably about 100 bucks Canadian just for essentially a month. So to get an actual benefit from the, at least what the research says, is you'll probably need kind of around the minimum is just about a liter of water of hydrogen infused into it. So this one says just kind of take one tablet. Per day, there's 60 tablets into there, so it's technically it's a, a two-month dose. But if you actually want to get the health benefits of hydrogen water, this is probably about a month. I think it's about 60 bucks American. So then you actually have to have conversion rate plus the actual shipping to, to get you onto there. So short term, if you're not sure of, like if you just want to test out hydrogen, the benefits of it, try tablet form. Cons of this, usually it, it's an expensive water bottle. It's a very cheap hydrogen water machine, but it is an expensive water bottle. So you would have to use it. All you need on something like this is, is about three. You need to drink three of these a day, essentially three to four. Usually I find it better with four. It's one of the first types of water that I actually get into into my system right when i wake up what else have we got so sometimes it leaks if you don't catch it at least i'm a lot better now essentially tightening it up when i when i start to use it but it would kind of leak down into the bottom or or up top or if i put it on and i'm rushing to work there might be a little bit of leakage there as well i mean i haven't had leaks in a few weeks now so it's just kind of figuring out how to actually make to do that and to keep it upright as essentially as it's as it's working and it's doing its thing so if you have any questions let me know, put it down to the comments. I'll give you kind of my best answer if one is better than the other. And if you like the Echo Go, or if you're looking for an actual high quality water bottle, go to Google, type in Echo Go review, sink therapy. That will have pretty much everything that I bring about it. Or if you want to learn more about hydrogen water, just hydrogen water, sink therapy, it'll, it'll all be on there. Thanks.